Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a real estate TikTok video using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Traditional real estate videos have their place, but what about when you want to reach a younger, more engaged audience? TikTok could be the answer. And yes, you could use Doodly to create the TikTok video. As you probably know, TikTok's a social media app where users can share short videos of themselves. It's increasingly popular with millennials, making it the perfect platform for reaching potential first-time home buyers. With a TikTok video, there's no telling what you'll see next. In today's example, we're going to create a short video for a lead magnet. Ultimately, we want them to download the lead magnet in exchange for an email address, right? So that we can further target them off away from the TikTok platform. I have a, a very short, simple script that we're going to use. I have a lead magnet uh, cover image made, and all we need to do is create our Doodly video. Now, Doodly is a vertical format, so when we go over to my videos and create a new video, we're going to give it a name, Real Estate TikTok. And what we want to do is we want to go over to Custom. And this allows you to change the aspect ratio. We're going to remove this little check mark here, and then we're going to type in 1080 for the width and 1920 for the height. Now we have a vertical whiteboard video. Now, I told you that I have a cover image for this lead magnet, so that's the first thing I'm going to bring in. So I've got props, blue plus sign, and I'm going to just drag and drop my file into place. Okay, so this is what I want them to download. Now on its own, it's a little dull. So let's add some characters and some text. Like Instagram, TikTok doesn't let you just link in your post, but you can put a link in your bio and tell people to go there. So that's what we're going to do in this example. And I think let's change the color. Now I want this, this yellow to stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and hit copy, control C, and then paste, control V, and on the background one, I'm going to change that back to black or gray. I think maybe the gray shadow. Now I have a little drop shadow effect. Now I would love for this background to have a little something more interesting back there. I have some backgrounds that I had uploaded a long time ago that might be fun to use. Let's try this watercolor one. And we're going to send it to the back and make it large. Now I can move it around. And then let's change the opacity on this. Let's try 50%. And then let's go back to full screen here. I think we can go even lighter. Try 20. Yeah, that just gives it a little splash of color. And I think the layout now is fine. And we just want to make sure everything comes on in a specific order. So we're going to start with the background already on. And then we're going to say attention first time buyers first. We're going to bring in the book. I'm going to click this little pencil icon on the book. Rather than having it scribble on, we're going to change the reveal mode to fade. 
Now it's going to fade on and we're going to make it a very fast fade. You know, we don't have a lot of time here. So I'll say a one second fade. And then we will draw the characters on. But I think I'm going to say yes, you can afford to buy a home first and then draw the characters on. And then link, link to bio. This first one's going to come on super fast. And then the second one can draw on a little slower. Let's take a quick preview. I'm going to turn off all that erasing. Go to settings, erase mode, off. And then let's take a look at the hand. Let's go for a cartoon hand. What we're trying to do is just capture some attention, okay? So that's why we're gonna go with a cartoon hand. And let's try this guy. And that's looking pretty good. I think we will do a quick little voiceover. Just make it more personal. So we go down here to the microphone. Click the plus sign. Now when I'm ready, I'm gonna click the red microphone button and begin speaking. Now don't worry if the timing doesn't match my voice. I can go back and change that. Not a big deal. Here we go. Hey, first time home buyers. Buying a home can be a little tricky, but with our helpful guide, you can avoid the top 10 mistakes that people make. Check the link in our bio to download this free guide now. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a few little adjustments. I always like to trim that beginning and then move this down so I don't have that long pause at the beginning. You can do the same at the end. We can make this have a slight delay before it comes on. And then let's do another delay before that comes on. We can make them draw slightly slower. And then here at the end, let's add some time at the end of the scene. Let's go for four seconds. Click apply. And that should be good. Let's take a quick look. Hey, first time home buyers. Buying a home can be a little tricky, but with our helpful guide, you can avoid the top 10 mistakes that people make. Check the link in our bio to download this free guide now. And I like that just fine. So now we just need to export it and then import it into TikTok. You see the resolution is our vertical format. Okay, my video has exported. I'm in TikTok. I am on my desktop and I'm gonna go ahead and click the upload button. And now I can simply just drag and drop my video to TikTok. We can give it a caption and that looks pretty good. Hey, first time home buyers, buying a home can be a little tricky, but with our helpful guide, you can avoid the top 10 mistakes that people make. Check the link in our bio to download this free guide now. And there you have it, how to create a real estate video for TikTok. Thanks for watching. Bye.